Good day, grade 9 learners. This is Teacher Lesser, aka Zerless, and I welcome you all to this roller coaster like adventure in learning Mate. For today's video, we will be talking about the history of world music, and this is actually discussed in the first quarter of your module. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get this discussion started. Our lesson for today is all about the music of the medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. And to start with, let us first consider the following learning competencies or objectives of the lesson. The learner describes the musical elements of selected and instrumental music of medieval, renaissance, and baroque music. The learner explains the performance practice during medieval, renaissance, and baroque periods. The learner relates medieval, renaissance, and baroque music to other art forms and its history within the era. The learner improvises appropriate accompaniment to selected music from the medieval, renaissance, and baroque period. And the learner performs music from medieval, renaissance, and baroque period. So those are our targets for today's discussion. And now, let us first discuss about music of the medieval period, which started in the year 700 to 1400. Medieval period is also known as the Middle Ages or Dark Ages. It started with the fall of the Roman Empire, and during this time, the Christian Church influenced Europe's culture and political affairs. So the government before was actually held by religion. We call the earliest style of music as monophonic plain chant, which was actually popularized during the medieval period. Monophonic plain chant was named after Pope Gregory I, who made this approved music of the Catholic Church. So during the medieval period, this monophonic plain chant as a style of music or early style of music was called as Gregorian chant. There are different characteristics of the Gregorian chant. The first characteristic is monophonic, which has only one melodic line. The second characteristic is free meter, which means that it has no particular number of beat per measure. The third characteristic is modal, which means it uses the seven tones and uh, usually based on Latin liturgy, and also it uses new notation. Examples of new notation is being shown above. And those are the neums or we call them as the earliest form of notating symbols. The famous composer of the medieval period. The most famous composer during the medieval period was Adam de la Hill and he was from France and he was born in the year 1237 and died in the year 1288. He was also known as Adam Le Bossu or Adam the Hunchback. He was the son of a well-known citizen of Arras, Henry de la Hale. He received his education at the Sister Shan Abbey of the Celes, near Cabral. Adam was destined for the church but he eventually married. His patrons were Robert II, Count of Artois, and Charles of Anjou, brother of Louis IX. And his works include Le Jeu de Robin et de Marion and Le Chanson de Roy de Cecile. Now, let us proceed to the music of the Renaissance period which started in the year 1400 and ended up in the year 1600. Renaissance comes from the word renaitre which means rebirth, revival, and rediscover. The Renaissance period is a period of looking back to the golden age of Greece and Rome. The invention of printing in the 1400s paved the way for a wide distribution of Renaissance compositions. With the emergence of the bourgeoisie class, Renaissance music became popular as entertainment and activity for amateurs and the educated. Lute was a prominent instrument of the Renaissance era. There are different characteristics of Renaissance music. First is mostly polyphonic. Second one is imitation among the voices is common. Third, use of word painting in texts and music. Fourth, melodic lines move in a flowing manner. Fifth, melodies are easier to perform because these move along a scale with a few large lips. Next is the vocal music of Renaissance period. Number one is mass. Mass is a form of sacred musical composition that sets texts of the Eucharistic liturgy into music. 
Characteristics of the Mass includes polyphonic, may be sang a cappella or with orchestral accompaniment, text may be syllabic, one note set to each syllable, or pneumatic, a few notes set to one syllable, or the last one, melismatic, many notes to one syllable. There are five sections of Mass. First one is Kyrie, or we call this as Lord have mercy. Second one is Gloria, or we call this as Glory to God in the highest. Third one is Credo, or we call this as I believe in one God. Fourth one is Sanctus and Benedictus, or we call this as Holy, Holy and Blessed is He. And Anius Day, the last one, or we call this as Lamb of God. The second vocal music of the Renaissance period, aside from Mass, was Madrigal. It was a secular vocal polyphonic music composition which originated from Italy. It is written and expressed in a poetic text and sung during courtly social gatherings. It is the most important secular form during the Renaissance period. Madrigal music characteristics include the following. Polyphonic, sang a cappella, through composed. Here are the famous composers of the Renaissance period. First one was Giovanni Perluigi de Palestrina. He was born in Rome and in the year 1525 and died in the year 1594. He was considered as the greatest master of Roman Catholic Church music during the Renaissance period. Majority of his compositions are sacred music and he was committed to sacred music and has a keen interest in satisfying the desires of church leaders in the 16th century. Palestrina's Pope Marcellus Mass is held up the perfect example of counter-reformation style. Kyrie is a part of the first two sections of the Pope Marcellus Mass. Second composer during the period was Thomas Morley. He was born in the year 1557 and died in the year 1602. Morley was born in Norwich, East England, the son of a brewer. He was a singer in the local cathedral from his boyhood and he became master of choristers there in 1583. Thomas Morley was the most famous composer of secular music in his time. And his works include Fire Fire My Heart, Fantasy, It Was a Lover in His Last, Sing and Chant It, and April is in My Mistress' Face. Last to discuss is the music of the Baroque period and it existed in the year 1685 and then ended up in the year 1750. Baroque is derived from the Portuguese word Baroco which means pearl of irregular shape. Some of the great composers of this time were George Friedrich Handel, Johann Sebastian Bach, Claudio Monteverdi, and Antonio Vivaldi. New instrumental techniques and changes in musical notation were developed during this period. Major and minor tonality was also created in this period, and a lot of musical terms and concepts that evolved in this era are still used until today. There are different characteristics of Baroque music. First, melodies sound elaborate and ornamental. Second, melodies are not easy to sing or remember. Third, Primarily contrapuntal textures with some homophony. Fourth, dynamic contrast alteration between loud and soft. And fifth, music genres were operas, oratorios, suites, toccatas, concerto grosso, and few. Other characteristics of Baroque music are orchestra consists of strings and continuo. Harpsichord and organ are the keyboard instruments that are commonly used. New forms are binary AB, ternary ABC, ground bass, and fugue. These are the music genres of Baroque music. Number 1. Concerto. It is a form of orchestral music that employs a solo instrument accompanied by an orchestra. The second one is Concerto Grosso a form of orchestral music during the Baroque period wherein the music is between a small group of solo instruments called concertino and the whole orchestra called tutti. Third is the fugue, 
A contrapuntal piece developed mainly by imitative counterpoint. Fourth is oratorio. It is a large-scale musical composition for orchestra and voices that incorporates narratives on religious themes, usually performed without the use of costume, scenery, or action. It is usually written in the language for the intended audience. The fifth one is Korab, a musical composition that resembles a harmonized version of hymnal tunes of the Protestant Church during the Baroque era. And here are the famous composers of the Baroque period. First one was Johann Sebastian Bach. Johann Sebastian Bach was born in Germany, and the compositions of him are Concerto Grosso, Mass in D minor, Cantata 208, and 211 Fugue in G minor. The second prominent composer during the Baroque period was Antonio Vivaldi. He was a Venice and he was born on March 4, 1678 to Vienna and uh, he died on July 28, 1741. His compositions are Four Seasons and this composition is a series of four violin concerti depicting each of the seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter. And the third composer was George Friedrich Handel. He was a German and he was born on February 23, 1685 in London and uh, he died on April 14th. And his composition was Messiah. It was the most popular composition of him. And for your performance task for today's discussion, this is entitled Home Talentado. You can work solo or you can form your own group using your family members. First instruction is to listen to any excerpt from the musical compositions of medieval, renaissance, and baroque music. Second one is to identify the musical theme. Third one is to imitate the melody by humming or playing an instrument, any typical instrument, recycled, improvised, or any available instrument in your house, and create an appropriate rhythmic accompaniment. For the last thing to do, record or video your performance and submit your output to your teacher through Google Classroom. And of course, grade 9 students, thank you for listening. I hope that you have learned a lot from the music history. And if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell for you to be updated of new uploaded videos. So that's all for today's discussion as I have said and let's call it a day. And uh, see you all on my next video. This is Teacher Lester saying, let's dream and make it happen. Goodbye, grade 9 students.